Today, in a new track design tutorial, we'll create a smoke effect. Hi everyone! Today, in a new track design tutorial, we're going to create this uh, visual. And this is about uh, this effect we created uh, before for the first tutorial, the start tutorial. Uh, but the idea is uh, when you have a, a shape, a simple shape, uh, this in this example is there are three squares that uh, are playing maybe you feel that it's so simple you can add a, a simple effect and you have this effect like a smog you can create something completely different so yeah that is the idea you move forward and add in effects and see what happens and maybe use uh, all the effects and see yeah the result so we're going to select everything and delete. For this uh, tutorial, we're going to create. Um, we're going to use just tabs for uh, all the shapes for everything. So we're going to create a circle. For the circle, we're going to change the resolution. We're going to use the same as the parent. And we go to enable polygon, and we can see you can enable all these weird shapes. Um, so that is cool. We're going to select a square and we're going to change the size will be, yeah, weird numbers just because I like <laughs> this uh, result. And then um, we're going to create a noise. And for the noise, a uh, noise, noise, we're going to do the same, the parent. And we need uh, maybe a 4D because um, I want to animate it. We don't need too much period. A lot of noisy here. Yeah, a lot. Maybe three. Um, no harmonic. Mm, no, none of this. Uh, the amplitude two. Exponent. Maybe not too much. Six. And this. Yeah, a lot of contrast in this. Okay. And we can animate it, like, yeah, like this. Maybe it's time that seconds multiply zero that want. So we have that. Let me see if the maybe change the speed. Yeah, more speed. And then we connect this want to a composite. Composite. And we connect this to the list to here. And we select other, so we have like a mask of this. Cool. So we have the um, the the inside, and then we can add this color. So we're going to use that lookup, and I'm going to go with the same always and the same color that I used to the um, uh, example. So is this is a ramp. Mm. You can change this color. So oh, we have this. Okay. So what else? Um, we need to create uh, three again, three circles like this. I'm going to copy this. And we need three different size. First one, maybe we change. I'm going to change maybe the size to two, and then I'm going to put four, four. But what we need is we don't need the, the fill, we need the, the border. And for the border, we need to enable this. Okay. So I prefer pixels because I know how much is a pixel is. And we need the color. Um, and for this, maybe this is okay. So we have the color. And I copy this two times. And the second um, will be. Three, three, and the last one will be two, two. So we have our three squares and um, we put together. But first, we need to create here a channel mix because um, I need just um, the color, not the black. And we connect everything in a composite. 
connect. Ah, first, it's like, what are we doing, Paula? Okay, we need to know enable this. Out one. And add a transform just for see what's going on. Okay, my fault. I did it before. Okay. And connect everything here. So we can put add. So we have this. As you can see, it's a simple shape. It's like Paola, what we don't like this. What else we can do with this? So it's like, don't worry, we can fix all of this. And it's important to think that uh, it's like we have a shape and that, and then we can add effects and effects and see what happened. So one of the effects that I liked a lot is feedback. And we're going to create that that smoke uh, or oh, smoke or smoke I don't know uh, in 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 the designer. So I first we need a null or remember no 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 sorry I put bull <laughs> no uh, here put a color. Then we need a feedback. Always a keyboard. Key, 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 keyboard in the curious about for me uh, feedback is at the at the beginning I I couldn't understand why I sh I should supposed to use this effect but now I use it all the time <laughs> and now a level and then we put everything together with a composite. Connect here, the composite with me maximum, and then the feedback we put the compost and we change the opacity not too much. Okay. So the the uh, important thing for a feedback works is movement. So we're going to use a, here add a transform. And for the transform, we're going to use the, this one, the rotate. A V S time that seconds multiply um, minus fifteen. Why minus? Because I like the rotation go to the right. So yeah. So we have the feedback. It's okay. It's working. Uh, but I want to add more of data to this. Okay. So first, I'm going to put color for remember this is the uh, start and the, uh, the important thing. So. Uh, yes, and color to the output. So we have this. Okay, what else we can add? It's like, okay, we need to um, make the feedback more complex. So we need first a noise and we need a slope. I think these two makes a lot of uh, different slope. For the noise, um, we need just a noise. We need to be full color. I'm going to zoom this. More period and harmonics. Yeah, noisy and maybe two. Yeah, something like that. And for the slope, we need to detect like the edges. So it's like the borders here. I don't know if in the video you can see it, but you can see the shape of the this visual and slope more here so you can see there it is yeah i can add more so that is i think okay or detect okay four and maybe something like that then we need to add blur to hit this one blur 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 and will be maybe 310 and we put this together in a composite. Composite. Sorry, I always pre press upside. And will be an average. So, with these things, I may be in the video now, but things is, are happening here because it's the shape here. And then we connect this to a displays. And remember, when we connect the displays here to the second information, this will be too much. It's like crazy. This is cool too, uh, but uh, we can control all of this to displays. 
we need to change that to a low number so something like that maybe I prefer just one to one and sometimes you can play with this like what is it is doing okay it's the position okay cool uh, or what is this one okay it's like boom so we have that and we can control the level a much better maybe add more yeah something like that okay so we have this effect and we need what else it's like okay but we need add more more and more so for that um we're going to i'm going to add here effects that i always we use glow fix maybe maybe gray maybe focus i don't know we can add maybe it we can add whatever we want or we're going to go with the glow well that was too much uh we need to change maybe not too much if you asking uh, about the glow i'm going to share with i, I teach an old video about this i'm going to link um in youtube about what it is but it's the visual with a different blurs and connected together and we have the result no complex complex but if you are in patreon you can have this no lot and yeah you can have it so we have the intensity and another thing that when i use feedback uh, i use a lot of uh, not the focus not the grain is create uh use uh, an edge because i like the details but first we're going to use the transfer because i want the blackness there and first uh, uh, i need a null just for finish always a process okay and then we need an edge and for the edge uh, what, uh, what we need is um, so we can see the details see details that we can see here for example we, we see this smoke or effect we can see lines there but with this tool we can see more details about so if I put you'll have more details so I'm going to add a color um, I think something like this maybe not too much Yeah, more yellow and we have the edges we can put this enable this and we can see over of this but i prefer use just uh, the alpha channel so i can maybe if i want create a level and saturate or put more brightness of this or maybe i can use the transparent opacity for this and if i want i can create a blur just if I want, yeah, I'm going to put just just in case, just maybe zero zero, and then we connect everything here to a composite. Okay, and we add these two screens, screens. So with the opacity, we can add how much intensity we can together put, or we can add maybe blur. Sometimes when you add blur, it's like a glow there like a brightness but maybe yeah maybe not too much, maybe not maybe zero but i'm going to let you yeah, yeah, put this blue just in case you want to play with this so we have yeah this cool effect and then um i'm going to add before the edge because i want just affect the pink color um a level because maybe i want more contrast yeah it was almost way yeah something like that yeah i prefer that much better and then as always we can use these three two effects that we uh, i showed you before um i prefer this order focus you want to put center there if you ask me how, what this focus 
we have the visual, we have a RAM, whatever we want to choose, and we use a Luma Blur, okay? So maybe not circular, maybe vertical to the top and bottom. So we can focus there. And then I always, when I use feedback, I like to add this grained effect. Sorry, I can connect this to here. <gasps> Why? Let me delete. Let's see. Oh, if not, we can create. Let me check. Maybe um, what's grained? Maybe it's not designer. Oh, my computer. Yeah, there it is. And we create that. So we have literal texture there. Again, one more too much. Just a detail. For me, the grain is like a detail. And the cool thing about this is moving a little bit. So if you ask me again, it's a noise, a level for control the opacity, and then a composite with overlay. And you have the, your visual. So um, yeah, that is the tutorial. It's not too much, but the idea is we start with this shape. So when you create, it's like Paola, we have this shape to the left. What we can create with this? So with a simple shape, that is the, the, the idea of this tutorial. With that simple shape, you can create simply, simply something completely different. And if you want to add more, for me, maybe, this is maybe I'm going to add something that I, I, I didn't try, but maybe we can add a transform here. Maybe, what happened if we move this, the rotation? Can something happen? No, okay. Boo, Paola. But what happened if we change the scale? Okay, we can create weird things. Just for checking what's going on. Maybe it's too much. Ooh. Okay. I like this too. Okay. But yeah, I'm going to leave you there. The transfer if you want to play this one. The end was the blur. The other one. I remember this. Your screen. So you, re you remember that you can play with these uh, two things. And what else? I think. Um, yeah, you can play to, if you change the rotation, if faster or not, you have different, different things and, uh, maybe, no, I think 15 is okay. So, yeah, uh, this is the tutorial and if you have any question, just, uh, send me a message on Patreon, YouTube or my Instagram account, just, I will be there. And see you in the next tutorial. Bye.